I've had these different patches in my life where things have gone really easy <laughs> and things have gone really hard. And it's, this, it's, it's the same in, in my art. There's sometimes when it's so smooth and, and I call that flow. And it's usually when things aren't going so well that I have a lot of questions. When things are going well, I, I'm just happy. <laughs> um, but what I've learned is, and you know, from sort of studying this, that the flow state, the, the, the times when things are working the best for me, when the best art comes out and it comes easier, and it comes stronger and it's more authentic. It happens, it happens when I'm feeling more connected to myself, when I'm feeling more joy in my life. And actually, I sort of realized it's, it's, it's kind of connected to love in a way, like everything's connected back to love. And you can use any word you want for it, but let me, let me show you what I mean a little bit. So like, I think love is just so universal that it's kind of a good placeholder. And the reason I like it, and it sounds a little wooey, right? But this is, this actually is the center. This is the center of all that matters in ourselves, right? You know, like we have this heart. This is, this is the core, right? You can call this peace. You can call this your soul. You can call this, but I think love and, and paying attention to this, this is also super loving. It's, it's giving yourself what you need, doing things that bring you alive, making art that feels like you, making the kind of art that you want to make, not what other people expect you to make, what truly feels, what, what, what art is generated from the center of you. And what I love about this is that that idea that you go inside, that you go inside to make something that then results out here, something's created out here, because you went in there and you took this and then you made that, that this becomes an offering of sorts. Our art is, it first and foremost, it's a vehicle to take you closer to yourself. But then because you make it and you bring it out into the world and you offer it up, you share it and it connects to other people because they too can sense that. They see that this comes from you and it reminds them that they too have something that they can bring out. I love this idea that, that, that we derive the work from in here to create an offering out here. And there's this great cycle of, it, it, and, and this is loving, right? Like the whole thing's love. This thing that we make, it's an act of love that we give to the world. And because we do it, it's loving to ourselves because we're paying attention to what matters. It awakens us and it awakens other people. So it's just kind of a cool way to, to, to think about it. <laughs> and, and, and that reciprocity of making things and offering things, this is the dance we're all involved in. And it seems to me, uh, it, it's such a, it's, it's an unusual thing that we do. And, and, I, and I just love this frame. This has brought me back to the surface of when things have been difficult. Let me know how you think about this. Does this make any, does this, do you understand this? Is this, do you feel a sense of love? Do you feel, do you feel great? And that's why your art turns out stronger? 
you know, like how does it, how, how, how do all these pieces, all, how does all of this add to the alchemy of what, of what you're making? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. So this idea, which has really become a huge part of, of how I think about my art making and my, and my life making, frankly, um, all kind of originated um, through meeting somebody. And this week, uh, on Wednesday, we have a new podcast, episode uh, number four, coming out. And I want to introduce you to this amazing, uh, she's a spiritual teacher, um, she's an artist, and she's just incredibly wise. Her name's Lorraine Weiss, and um, I think you're going to really enjoy this conversation. So if you're making art and you want something cool to listen to, uh, this issue, this episode's coming out on Wednesday. There's a link down below if you want to subscribe to the podcast. That'd be awesome. Um, and there we have we have a few episodes already up that are already there. And um, I would love you uh, to participate. So listen, thanks so much for being here, and I will talk to you really soon. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please. Join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.